I will share the George story today, my story, in a fireside chat. Ooh, it's warm here. I didn't get the job, but I got the girl. Found my future wife online. I founded TGN as a YouTube network and built that up. And I sold that in 2012 because a few days ago, you told me you want to hear my story in this video behind me. I started this MCN thing called Freedom, but you probably don't want to hear about that, do you? I did the poll and the results are right here. Overwhelmingly, you wanted to hear the story, so let's share it. Before we do, did you know you can share your YouTube story with everyone in your shiny freedom dashboard at www.freedom.tm? Just click this button and there you'll be able to enter your YouTube story and others can read it. Here is someone sharing his YouTube story, Zombies Finest, who said some friends and I dedicated decided we wanted to make a YouTube channel dedicated to zombies. Since then, I have doubled the subscribers on the channel and I'm enjoying every minute of it. This has been seen by 25 people and we can just click this link to go to his channel. That's why you should share your story. New fans will discover your channel after reading your story to help you grow faster. The short version of my story is born in Slovakia, grew up in Vancouver, Canada, Thought I could become a famous web developer after graduating university. I didn't. Went to work for Microsoft, built parts of Hotmail and Spaces and other Windows Live products. Went off to San Francisco to try the Silicon Valley lifestyle. Found my future wife online. I met her on studypond.com, which sadly doesn't exist anymore. Flew to Taiwan to try to pitch a business to promote Asian singers outside of Asia. That didn't work out. Flew back to Canada to try another business called FromAnywhere.com. That didn't work out. Started something new called TheGameNet.com. That didn't work out, but it transformed into TGN. So I founded TGN as a YouTube network and built that up. And I sold that in 2012 because I wanted to do something not just gaming. And Freedom was born in 2013. Freedom. See? Yeah. Freedom. And what are you watching? What is going guys and girls? My name is also Graph Tiger and welcome to the George Show. Thank you, Silver Tiger, for collaborating with me by leaving that comment. Do you want to get featured on the George Show just like that? Click that eye to learn all about the levels one through four of collaboration with me so we can grow together. And the link to Silver Tiger is down there in the description below if you want to check out his channel. Let's play another one. What's up guys, this is Master Nunchucks, and you're watching The George Show. Thank you for that intro, Master Nunchucks. On with the story. Let's dig a little deeper. How did I meet my wife online? How many of you have met your significant other through a website? Not through mutual friends in real life, but through digital means like Tinder or dating websites like Match.com. I was actually looking for a woman in real life, never found one that I connected with through friends, so I started looking online. Match.com, eHarmony.com, even Craigslist. They have a personal section where you can find interesting people to date. I am a living testimonial to that. But I found my wife when I wasn't looking for a woman on these dating websites. I found her on studypond.com when I was looking to find someone to teach me Chinese because I had the idea of going to Asia to promote Asian singers who sang in English outside of Asia. Like Stephanie Sun, also known as Sun Yanzi. How many of you know that singer and speak English? Probably zero because she still has no English promotional material. Everything about her is in Chinese. So I met Xiao Yu when I went to Taiwan to pitch my business idea to EMI and other record labels to promote their singers. And the joke is, I didn't get the job, but I got the girl. But I wasn't looking for a girl, that's the ironic part. I would love to hear your experience on how you met your significant other, what worked for you. Because I'm sure many of you out there are looking, but can't find someone that you connect with. So let's help each other grow by sharing our stories to motivate everyone on how they can find their significant other. Because that's the spirit of freedom. We all help each other grow together as a family. Click that eye to partner with Freedom if you haven't already, so we can all grow together. How did I go from working at Microsoft to 
pitching Asian singers outside of Asia? That was just an idea I had. It was an entrepreneurial spirit. How many of you have crazy ideas that show entrepreneurial spirit? I would love to hear some of your stories down there in the comments below so we can again inspire each other to do entrepreneurial things, to take initiative, to take risks. Because if I didn't take that risk, I would have never met my future wife. I would probably have never gotten into YouTube and my life would be extremely different. Maybe better, but more likely worse. After my experience in Southeast Asia, I returned back to Canada to try to build a business called fromanywhere.com. That didn't succeed because I had no idea what I was doing and we never built a revenue model. We couldn't make money. Then I thought, hey, I love to play games. Let's make websites that focus around forums, communities, and other things, and we called it thegamenet.com. That sadly also didn't go anywhere, but we did make some money. It's only when we pivoted the game net to TGN to start this crazy idea of a YouTube network for gamers. At the time, there really was only Machinima. And we built it up into a successful brand. I partnered with Broadband TV. And in the end, I sold TGN to BBTV because they had very different ideas on what TGN should become. I wish them well, and I created freedom into what TGN would have become had I kept running that brand. Freedom is the spiritual successor to TGN. Is there any part of this story that you really want to know more about? Tell me in the comments below. In the meantime, this is my story. I hope you've enjoyed it. Share your story on the Share Your Story page in the Shiny Freedom dashboard. And if you like this video, click the like button down there so I know what kind of content you enjoy. And subscribe to Freedom Central, youtube.com slash freedom, home of The George Show. I am George, CEO and founder of Freedom. And you've been watching. That fireplace looks pretty real. Ouch! <laughs> Too real! I have an idea. Hmm. Not a marshmallow. It's an apple, but still tasty. Oh. Thank you for putting on that log. Mr. Fireplace Manager. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started.